Yeah, I'm Gary Drew. I'm from uh, 35 k's north of Hobart, and uh, I'm a plumber who loves to fish. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, my, my nephews and myself and a few other friends, it's grown and grown over the years. I think we've been coming for 10 or 12 years about now. And we, uh, we always have a lot of fun up here in the winter. It's, you can get beautiful sunshine, you can get crap cold wind and bloody rain, but you wouldn't be anywhere else. It's great. Absolutely awesome. So. One of the best reasons to come to Burberry is just the settings, beautiful. You've got classic mountains all around you. It's a good place to catch fish. Uh, secondly, uh, the fact that it's open all season round means that you can extend your fishing season into winter, which is a bit novel. And the other reason to come is that we come with a good group of mates and have a fair bit of fun at the same time. We've been coming down here for about six years now. Um, Queen's birthday weekend every year. Uh, it's just a, a, an opportunity to get away when normally there's no fishing to be had. So it's a good opportunity to come down, catch up with mates, uh, get a bit of fishing in and then sit around the fire and, and spin a few yarns and, uh, and get up and do it all again the next day. So, oh, it can be a little bit wet, but um, as, when you've got the right gear, it's, it's, not, it's not an issue. Um, we've got plenty of firewood, uh, so we don't get cold of a night time. And, and uh, great facilities, there's a, there's a long drop toilet, so we're not having to wander off into the scrub. Uh, just, just, a, it's just a good place to camp. To me, the Burberry trip's just a fantastic trip. You know, we love coming down here just with the banter around the, the uh, fire and, um, you know, the opportunity to catch some half decent fish um, really gets us up here. So, uh, aside from that, you know, um, I get two trips a year and this is what I really look forward to. So, yeah, as much as I'd like to angle a whole lot more, um, this is it. So, yeah, I love it. We do a lot of mixed bag of fishing, mostly trolling I might say, which is not my favourite, but uh, we, we catch a few fish. Sometimes you'll see them midging on top, so we'll cast out of the boat at them and when I can I try and get a fly on the water, but they're very spooky usually, so uh, have a lot of fun trying, but um, that, that we keep at it one way or another. So, uh, yeah, it's all pretty good. Yeah, we, when we're trolling, we use Tassie Devils predominantly, probably. Um, a mixed bag of other, maybe, hard bodies. Um, the old little Phoebe or Blade or something like that. Uh, have a lot of success with pink and orange colours. Mainly rainbows are attracted to the pinks and brownies are attracted to the oranges. And you get a you know, variation of a lot of colours, but mainly you have some pink or some orange in that in that lure and they seem to work best this time of year anyway. Spinning out of the boat, same lures, just different technique I guess. Um, the fish are very spooky, so you, you have to cast well in advance of them, a lot higher than them and uh, you can nearly always tell if they see your lure because you get a big boil and then a, a big bend in the rod normally, so it's great fun. But, uh, fly fishing well, once again, they're very, very spooky uh, out on the lake. Very difficult to get a fly close to them because they're not really feeding that hard this time of year. They'll be, you know, nip two or three times, then they'll move 20 metres and nip again. So uh, generally, fly fishing is best I've found when they're feeding close to the shore and you can actually get in, you know, reasonably close enough to get a cast and maybe drift the boat a little rather than, than drive it. Yeah, it's one of these places up here you've got to keep your eyes on the where you go most of the time because it's uh, you can soon run aground. You go from 30 metres as we are at the minute to one and a half metres in no time. She's almost instant. But, uh, but uh, main thing is we we come, you know, we just have a great time. It's uh, really good family time and 
As you'll see, we, we bring the dog, Maxie gets into it. <laughs> he, he has a ball. But, uh, but, uh, it's just good to have time with the, with the boys and we have a few beers and good food. And if we catch some fish, well, that's, that's a bonus. But that's uh, not the be all and end all to the trip, but it is, it is good to catch fish, no doubt about that. <laughs>